Hey guys, this is Sneaky Turtle, and today I'm just going to be doing some gameplay in Atlas Reactor. Just basically, um, talking about how to actually play the game. Like, in my review, I briefly went over it, but I didn't feel satisf satisfied with my explanation. So, let's go over this, Five, and four, hopefully three, it'll all work two, well. So, one. let's get ready. Now... Atlas Reactor, it's a, it, it pretty much makes sense, alright, like, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you're there, it's, it works fine. So, you see these different characters, right? Those are all different, um, freelancers or their characters. Alright, so, this is the map we're going to be playing on. You can see it's really symmetrical, really easy, and... For our decision mode, this is the first round so we can only move. I'm gonna go here, just cause you right click to decide where you wanna move. And here are all my abilities, alright, I'll go over each one as I use it. These are catalysts as I said, you can use them once a game. Alright, so now the only person we see is that guy, so we're just gonna do that and let's try to push up some. And, yeah, so you get 20 seconds to decide. Pretty good. And this is the ability I'm using. It's my main attack. I just do 32 damage to the um, person I'm aiming at, and any other people nearby take 22 damage. So, it's it's not bad. Alright, so, that's this guy. Basically, the enemy team. They have crap. Bouncing! Bomb! Alright, so here's the resolution mode where you can see what everyone did. And if you're behind cover like he is, your attacks gonna do half damage. Alright, so I know there's a person over there. So, they're probably gonna attack me, so what I'm gonna use is a rocket jump. And I'm just gonna jump to cover over... Ooh, crap. I wanna go over here. Now, I'm basing heavily that someone's going to attack me, because if not, then I've just wasted a turn, right? Adrenaline overload. So here's the prep phase, everyone's um, giving themselves um, preemptive boosts and stuff, and someone was going to attack me, so I was pretty smart. Alright, that's it. So as you can see, this game's kind of hard to um, commentate, it happens pretty quickly. And I do think that there's potential for a um, more competitive scene on it. Like, it, it takes skill. Like, there's a lot of skill involved. Okay, so what I'm going to use here is I'm just going to... Oh, no. Oh, okay. I want to try to get them both. So what I'm going to be... I'm also going to get behind cover. So Targeting what that is set. is... In the first round, I fire a rocket up into the sky, and then the next round will come crashing down, dealing varying levels of damage depending on where it hits. Okay, so. Bet you didn't see that coming. Yeah. Doubled explosions in. Ooh, I'm pretty low on health, so I'm actually. Since I know that he's going to attack me, and I don't have a lot of health, I'm just going to use that. I'm also going to try to run towards here, and I'll deal some damage to him. You know. Now, you can see there's extra time. Wait, I... Oh, crud! I forgot to walk Absolutely. in. Sorry. Oops. So, the problem with our composition is we have no support or tank freelancers. Like, that's a tank, she has a lot more health. And, yeah, that's just a problem we're having right now. But, you know, the game's young, there's no real strategy. And I just wasted that attack. That's right, stand next to each other! Yeah, that hurt. Oh. 
<laughs> gonna take okay, the that's good. I'm also gonna use this catalyst to try to gain more health, and I'm gonna run over here. You know, try to flank. I'm more of a ranged hero. I can deal damage from afar, and yeah. So this is round six. There's 20 um rounds, and it's basically whoever has done more um, crap. Whoever killed more people will win. Now, I don't like this game too much, but you know. So, our team's pretty low on health, just in general, as you can see. But they're starting to um, take some damage, just in general. Oh man, I'm really low. Oh man, they're all right near me. So I'm gonna use my third catalyst, fade, just to get out of the way, because I'm about to die, you know, I don't really want to, so what we're gonna, what we're doing is pretty much just the big loop around, because this is a game of strategy, where you have to figure out what you want to do before it actually happens. Alright, so a bunch of people, um, dash. Alright, so we're getting pretty low. So, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about these. So you can see health and energy. So the energy is basically to charge up the ability right here. And what that is, is basically it's just a, um, on. I'm just gonna use that, that's a sticky bomb. Anyways, what that is, is it's an OP thing for everyone, but they're all different, you know, so. Oh. I keep forgetting to lock in. <laughs> Don't get tripped up. Getting an edge. Alright, so I'm. Yeah, so the dog thing hid so I can hurt them. But anyways, we're all healed up, so we're gonna go back more into the fight. Oh, okay, so I did get it. It also has a sticky bomb as on it. I hope, otherwise I just wasted the ability. Anyways, I'm gonna use the big one again. Just try to crush them. I'm gonna put it right here, you know, and I'll walk back through over here, and you know, hopefully this will work. We haven't been doing too much as you can see, but they're both, we have two people here really low. Hopefully if we can keep them trapped in, it'll work out. They also have a person here, and... Oh yeah, I'm right there, so it is 4v4. Alright, so he pretty much just took most of them out. But those two are still low, and I doubt they're gonna run out of the way. Alright, so we got our we got the first takedown. And unfortunately, everyone ran out of the way. Which is a big shame. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm trying to, um, you know, hit something. Come on, whatever, I'll just use it right here in case they try to dodge. Alright, so I had to use that. I just wanted to- I want to get more into the fight. Alright, so he's gonna be taken out. Unless one of his abilities counteract that. So, we're coming back. I haven't been doing too much, you know. Alright, so. It's 3 to 1 right now after 10 rounds. I've just wasted two attacks, really. Okay, so I took out a second person. But. Yeah. So. Each team has two people dead. Pup's gonna be coming back in this round at the end of this round, so 
when you die, you have to wait two turns before you can actually um, come back in. One to, in one round, you choose where you're going to be, and then the next, you um, choose where you're going to move, and then at the end of that turn, you'll be back. All right. So. Cannot break me. Not going down without a fight. All right. So if I'm kind of low. Let's just run back here. Let's try to get those two if possible. Because then next time they take damage, we'll take an additional thirty. So. All right. So they're spawning in right here. And here, I'm Let's really low, wreck so... It. Ah. Alright, so that was Pup's ultimate. Yeah, I was taken down, unfortunately. Alright, so... Oops, alright, whatever. I mean, that's a f fine respawn location. They're over here just in this area and I have my ultimate which as you can see it locks on to um, enemy locations and then at, at during the press phase and at the last phase which is the third phase it'll do 45 damage to each one so it's pretty good oh, I wish Stand the so that was an interesting thing that just happened right there. So they were killed, but they came back. Aw, oh, we just lost. They double killed us. No feet. Well, hey guys. I'll bring bigger rockets Thanks for next watching, time. and um, please like this video if you enjoyed watching, and please leave a comment with your thoughts on this down below. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't do too much. Yeah, unfortunately. And thank you all for watching and have a great day.